good morning students today we are going to start a new chapter but before that i want to tell you something very important in every video i am asking you to like and subscribe my channel for further notification i am very happy to see your response but now onwards after liking and subscribing you have to write your name and section in the comment box children it is very important to don't forget to write it let's proceed do you know what is the main occupation of the rural people in india yes agriculture so today we are going to learn about agriculture the basic needs of man are food and clothing since primitive times his activities has been guided by the need to fulfill these needs man with his intelligence observed the natural growth of plants around him he attempted to produce a regular supply of his food requirements from soil this gave birth to agriculture the beginning of settled life and dawn of human civilization owe their origin to culture it is the most fundamental form of human activity and includes not only growing of crops but also domestication of animals the word agriculture is derived from the latin word agar or agri meaning soil or field and culture meaning cultivation or tilling of land so agriculture can be defined as the art and science of cultivating the soil and raising crops and rearing animal stock india is also an agricultural country now why we are calling india a agricultural country the reason is two third of its population is engaged in agricultural activities which provide livelihood agriculture is a primary activity and produces most of the food and food grains that we consume it produces raw material for our various industries example cotton textile and sugar industry some agricultural products like tea coffee and spices are exported and on foreign exchange farming practices vary in different regions the reason behind this is physical environment which includes relief soil and climate technological know how socio cultural practices physical environment or you can say the physical factors which includes climate soil and relief influences the agriculture climate influences the wide distribution of agricultural types certain things are grown only in hot cold or temperate region soil different types of crops are grown in different types of soil like black soil is suitable for growing cotton relief relief and altitude have a great bearing on the agricultural activities plains river valleys and deltas are more suitable for cultivation than hilly areas technical know how also influences the agriculture better technology has allowed farmers to feed more people scientific and technological developments like use of better seeds irrigation facilities fertilizers and farm machineries greatly influence the agriculture socio cultural practices also influences the agriculture children physical environment and technological know how is very important so please learn them now we are going to discuss about the types of agriculture they are of two types subsistence farming and commercial agriculture uh, subsistence farming is divided into two types primitive subsistence farming and intensive subsistence farming but before moving further i want to explain you the meaning of the terms subsistence farming and commercial farming subsistence agriculture or you can say subsistence farming is a farming in which a major part of the produce is consumed by the farmers household basically the produce is meant for the family they don't produce for selling in the market commercial agriculture 
farming in which a farmer grows the crops with the sole aim of selling the produce in the market now let us talk about the primitive subsistence agriculture this type of farming is still practiced in few pockets of india primitive subsistence agriculture is practiced on small patches of land with the help of primitive tools like hoe digging sticks family and community labors this type of farming depends upon monsoon natural fertility of soil and suitability of other environmental condition to the crops grown it is a slash and burn agriculture see the diagram farmers clear a patch of land and produce food crops to sustain their family when the soil fertility decreases the farmer shift and clear a fresh patch of land for cultivation this type of shifting allows nature to replenish the fertility of the soil through natural processes land productivity is low in this type of agriculture the farmers does not use fertilizers or other modern inputs this is also known by different names in different countries see but when we talk about india we are not having a single unified name for slash and burn cultivation it is known by different names in different part of the countries children this is very important you have to learn all names so please pen down all the names and learn it now intensive subsistence farming now what is this intensive subsistence farming it is practiced in areas of high population pressure on land it's labor intensive farming labor intensive farming means where we use more labors rather than machines yield per hectare is high because high doses of biochemical inputs and irrigation are used the size of land holdings is small and uneconomical farmers take maximum output from the limited land by raising two three crops in a year from the same land that is multiple cropping is practiced children i have said ki in this type of plantation or this type of farming size of land holding is small now why the size of land holding is small that is because of the right of inheritance according to the right of inheritance the property of the ancestors is divided among children so when the property is divided among the children the size reduces you can see this picture also a father has divided his plot of land among his four sons so everyone is getting one fourth part of the land now these four sons are also having two sons so everyone has also divided their part of land in their two sons so what we are observing in this a big piece of land is converted into a small holding this is also known as fragmentation of holdings now commercial farming the main characteristics of this type of farming is the use of higher doses of modern inputs high yielding variety of seeds chemical fertilizers insecticides and pesticides in order to obtain higher productivity the degree of commercialization of agriculture varies from one region to another for example rice is commercial crop in haryana and punjab but in odisha it is a subsistence crop now let us talk about plantation agriculture now what is this plantation agriculture and what are its features plantation farming is practiced in hot and humid region of tropical and subtropical areas of the world these areas are suited for growth of special types of crops which have great demand in international market plantation farming specializes in large scale production and processing of single crop for the purpose of export 
thus it is a form of commercial farming plantation farming begin with colonization of the equatorial and monsoon lands by the europeans the countries were located in southeastern and southern asia africa and latin america after their independence these countries continued to specialize in plantation farming producing high quality crop for trade the main characteristics of plantation farms are large states specializing in monocrop production mono means single every work like preparing the land raising seedlings in nurseries transplanting harvesting processing etc is done on scientific lines huge outlay of capital use of fertilizers and special farm machines give good production cheap and skilled labor is used for cultivation the main objective is to produce high quality products for export to earn huge returns such type of farming is similar to an industry on account of its planned organization for commercial purpose a well developed network of transport and communication connecting the plantation areas processing industries and market plays an important role in the development of plantations tea plantations coffee plantations of karnataka rubber plantation etc are part of plantation agriculture now we are going to discuss about the cropping pattern basically we are having the three cropping seasons in india they are the rabi kharif and zaif you all have studied about these seasons in your previous classes also but let us recall them quickly rabi crops are sown in winter from october to december and harvested in summer from april to june some important rabi crops are wheat barley peas gram and mustard these crops are grown in large parts of india states from the north and north western parts such as punjab haryana himachal pradesh are important for the production of wheat and other rabi crops the success of green revolution in punjab haryana western uttar pradesh and parts of rajasthan has also been an important factor in the growth of above mentioned rabi crops now kharif crops kharif crops are grown with the onset of monsoon in different parts of the country and these are harvested in september october important crops grown during this season are paddy children paddy means rice paddy becomes rice after the removal of husk so the important crops are paddy maize jowar bajra arhar moong etc some of the most important rice growing regions are assam west bengal coastal regions of orissa andhra pradesh tamil nadu kerala and maharashtra uh, recently paddy has also become an important crop of punjab and haryana in states like assam west bengal and orissa three crops of paddy are grown in a year these are ass aman and boro in between the rabi and the kharif season there is a short season during the summer months known as zaid season some of the crops produced during zaid are watermelon musk melon cucumber vegetables and fodder crops sugar cane takes almost a year to grow so that's all for today in next video we are going to discuss about the various crops I hope you have understood still if there is any doubt feel free to write that in the comment section and children after liking and subscribing don't forget to write your name and section thank you